Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes. So I was thinking about my career here on YouTube and exactly like what type of content I used to make when I first got started. So I did start around NBA 2K13. Uh, that's like like when Chris Move was doing 2K. I don't know, like some of the game rules, big motivation, guys like that. And I was doing my team. And then after my team, I started getting into my GM. There was a lot of people doing my GM. That was like the rebuild at the time. You know, it, it, it was like Crispy Flakes, Detroit Pistons, my GM, episode 67. You know, raising the cost of hot dogs by $2. That's what it was. It was like running a franchise and stuff like that. You guys know what my GM is. Um, and then 2K16 rolled around. And I believe it was CSB that came up with the idea of rebuilds. You know, people started doing those. And my GM essentially became obsolete. It was just no longer around. So... I was kind of thinking, man, because, like, to this day, I still love doing rebuilds. But I never really got a chance to, like, try out rebuilding an NBA 2K15. I wish I still had 2K13, 2K14. They're probably at my parents' house somewhere. Um, but on my PlayStation 4, this is the earliest copy of 2K that I could actually find was NBA 2K15. So, I thought for today's video, um, I would go and I would do an NBA 2K15 rebuild. Because I just... Stuff that's so, you know, such a big part of my channel. I have no idea what my uh, what my, uh, my league mode is like in NBA 2K15. So, for today's video, we are going to be rebuilding the 2014 uh, New York Knicks. And this team, oh my god, dude. I don't know how they were so bad. They had a record of 17-65. and 65. Now, if I do remember correctly, Carmelo Anthony did miss some time this season, like half the season, uh, with some sort of injury. But look at this roster, man. We got Carmelo Anthony, 89 overall. Damn, he was kind of falling off back then. Oh, my God. I know it was like four years ago now. Uh, Jose Calderon, second best player. I mean, I guess that probably summarizes up for you. You got J.R. Swish out there. You got Iman Shumpert, Amari Stoudemire. Amari St I don't know if it's going to be able to show. Yeah, it still shows stats. Okay, I actually, you know, actually kind of like this layout better than NBA 2K19, if I'm being honest here, man. But, uh, yeah, Amari Stoudemire was a beast for quite a few seasons on New York. Had injury issues himself, though. Like, look at this. He only played 29 games. Um... 13, 14, 65 games. So, yeah, man. You got Tim Hardaway Jr. I believe this was... Yeah, this was maybe a year. This might have been a sophomore year at this point, guys. Might have been a sophomore year. Samuel Dallenberg, uh Shane Larkin, Andrea Bargnani, Pablo Pergroni. Probably bringing up a ton of bad memories for the Knicks fans. Although, to this day, I'm sure there's still a lot of bad memories being made out there. Uh, no Chris Topps Porzingis, though. So, yeah. I, I just, like, I, I was looking at the mode right here. and it, It's actually pretty damn clean. Uh, you know, you got your roster. You got your trade finder um I, I did notice there's nothing to do with free agents and i don't know if that just comes later on because i have no idea what the off is going to be like but i saw nothing for free agency unless i'm just looking over here which is probably a pretty damn good chance so we are going to try to rebuild this team and see what we can do with it it might be bad <laughs> it might be bad um so let's go to staff signing first that's not Derek. okay oh that's Derek fisher okay i was like what is wrong with this man's face oh my god dude Chief Financial Officer looks like he having a freaking happy Valentine's Day. Look at that face, guys. Oh, my God. Wow, he's getting AD. Okay, I'm not going to say that. Um, And Derek Fisher just looked like he got done, Uh, you know, macking out Matt Barnes' wife. I'm just saying, Dave, Derek Fisher, I know I know what you've done in the past. So, we are going to fire you and try to find ourselves a better coach. Um, Kurt Rambis and <laughs> New York Knicks fans? No, not feeling that? Okay. All right, so he was B-minus CD. Um, I really want to find a BBC. I'm just joking. I'm never making that joke ever again. Oh, my God. They're all trash. They're all trash. Kurt Ram is about to be the best damn option up in here, guys. Uh, yo, give me Logan Schmidt. He's all, I, I remember Logan Schmidt from, like, he's still in the games, I think. We're giving him that three-year deal. And he just signs it up. No no negotiating. So, I guess that was not a thing back in 2K15. Uh, okay, let's go to Trade Finder and find our first trade. So, uh, Melo got that no trade clause, so he's going to be sticking around. Uh, no way Jose has, just has to get off my team. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to package him with, uh, let's let's give away Iman Shumpert. I, I, really, I don't really need Iman, Iman Shumpert. Wow, can I not? Okay, so I can still give up picks. Although, I don't really have a lot to give up. I have two first-round picks. Did the Knicks trade away all their picks at one point? Or maybe it has to do with, maybe they have the uh, the Stefian rule implemented into the game. Be my guess, I, I, I suppose. All right, so I got to push square to view offers. And what are we looking at? Come on, come on. Oh, we got some offers. We got ah, 80 overall. Michael Carter Williams. Hell no, baby. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was after his rookie year. Look at that. Damn, the dude was balling, man. 17.6 rebounds, 6 assists. Bitch ass 3 points here, though, which is why I didn't really uh, do good after that. But so far, I'm kind of liking that deal. Uh, I also don't like how it says offers received 25. It doesn't say like 1 of 25, it just says 25. So, uh, oh, OJ Mayo. Oh my God, man! Yo, you and Derek Favorite, or you, oh, not Derek Favorite, Derek Fisher, would get along real good. 
Brandon Knight back when he was a, a decent player. Todd Gibson, eight, uh, 80 overall, 79 overall. Kirk Heinrich, Tristan Thompson. Okay, so we got some offers up in here. Kyle Korver, Jeff Teague, not bad. 84 overall, Landon Stevens on the Charlotte Hornets. I don't remember him ever being on that team. And who else, guys? Lynn Sandy on the Lakers. Oh, my God, man. I mean, not really a ton of good offers. Yo, Jimmer's in the... Oh, yeah, when Jimmer was in the NBA, they all... They all... <laughs> look at this. They want... Jose Iman Samuel Downbird for one of the worst contracts ever. Omar Sheik before it happened. And Jimmer for Day, who's you know, the MVP of the China League at this point. We got Bram Jennings. I think he was actually on the Knicks at one point. Uh, okay. Oh, Goran Dragic. That's not too bad. And Anthony Tolliver. Probably the trade I'll do so far if we're trying to build a decent team up in here. So, yeah. Give me uh, give me the man Goran Dragic from the Phoenix Suns. Got Tossin Bargani. But, hey. We get rid of a few uh, bitch-ass contracts here. Goran is on one-year deal, so it's kind of risky. But, yeah. Start conversation. Okay. What, what are we what are we talking about? This is just a summary screen. I do like the look of this better though, man. Like, I don't know. Like something about it just looks a bit better. So we got we did that trade. And I did they do it? I, I assume they did. Uh yo, where's my players at? Okay, they're down there. Okay, so now we have to go to our rotation. I guess before we do that, let's make sure we got no uh, bitch ass contracts. We got Mellows. Uh Goran Drogic. It's actually on a two-year deal. It must be a player option of some sort or a team option, maybe. And besides for that, man, this team actually got some pretty good cap space. This is, of course, before they gave, you know, half of their uh, cap over to Joakim Noah. So, yeah, let's go to... What do I go to, man? Oh, my God, this is... We got front office. We got coach game plan. Probably that. Okay, there we go. I've never played this one before, guys. It's like... I, I, it's it's crazy, like, how it looks different. And this was, like, four years ago. But, like, at, at the same time, how much of the same it really is. So, have the CPU, rebuild rotations. Okay, we'll do that. Goran Dragic, J.R. Smith, Mello, Amari Sotomayor, uh, Samuel Dallenbert. I think I'm going to go ahead and simulate this first season. We'll, we'll use uh, Tim Hardaway off the bench. Uh, I don't really want to trade for any bad contracts, so maybe we can try to go for like a Kobe or somebody like that. Maybe a Kevin Durant uh, in NBA free agency. Okay, so we do have one game left against the Detroit Pistons. Uh, I literally made one trade here, guys. I literally got Goran Dragic, and the team went from 17 to 65 to 62 and 19 so i don't know if the simulation on this game was just uh straight up garbage or whatnot but i am actually going to try out the simulate with simcast right here i, I actually kind of want like, to like hop into a game and see what the gameplay was like i forgot totally all about it man so uh simcast okay gotta go to a whole new screen for this i, I don't like this at all oh my god man some dead space right here okay well a oh, bitch ass loading the screens that would have been the thing so you gotta go through all that. You gotta go through a, a, like a, a 10 second. I'm very impatient, guys. A loading screen to get here, and then finally, it's literally the same setup as it's been for the past damn uh, four or five years now. So, simulate game. Is it gonna let me do the like hop in and stuff? You, you can actually jump in. So let's. Still remains the same. Uh, there's no way to speed up the simulation that I can see. There's only the one speed right here, which is. Ah, uh, damn, dude. This, this is a long ass way, man. Damn, hurry up, man. We, we, we're blowing up my pistons, which is. Kind of depressing to me, but uh, here we go. Let's get the last last three and a half minutes here. Let's jump into this game. So I'm very curious what my Pistons is looking like out here. So let me go over to the, uh, I guess we'll go to game stats real quick. So yeah, Melo already got th uh, 24 points, but my Pistons had Andre Drummond. Oh yeah, crown ball. Oh my, no! Fuck you, Josh Smith! Shooting your bitch ass four threes out here, man. Oh my God. Oh, that's such bad memories. I did like Brandon Jennings, KCP trash, Jody Cheeks was horrible, DJ Augustine, I did like, oh my god, bitch ass Monroe, I forgot about it. <laughs> Who else? Jones Drepko was okay, Matt Boner, okay, I, we never had Matt Boner, he was on the damn Spurs, Will Bynum was cool, and then Tony Mitchell, another bust, oh man, okay, so that, ugh. let's beat this team down here, guys, let's get it, man, let's get it, okay, so, game still is playing about the same. Not seeing a big change in uh, controls. Yo, y'all see that screen by Andre Drummond? That was not great. It's pretty easy to play defense here as I let him shoot literally a three right in my face. Come on, Drummond, get the bitch ass rebound! Oh my god, and Amari. Tim Hardaway's in the game. Yo, where's Amari Sonomar? Is he playing center for whatever reason? We got Tolliver at center. Well, that's, there you go. So I don't actually know how to call a pick and roll. I guess we're going to do mellow in this post up on uh, Karan Butler. Post him up, man. Post him up. Post them all up! What are you doing? Give me that ball! Ah, psych. <laughs> yeah, that was the play call right there, guys. <laughs> that was called the dumbass crispy. Works every time. All right. Yo, those dribb these, these dribbling an animations are not very good. And it's very hard to like... That was really hard to get a shot block right there. 
Like there was just it was it was tough, plain and simple. Yo, how do I how do I do a damn pick and roll? That's all I want to do. It's that's like half my offense. I see Melo in the corner. Get him. Jump shot was nice. Okay. I do like the shot meter on this a bit more. It has like that little uh like like white line. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. But I, I'm personally not a big fan of like the current NBA 2K shot meter. It just doesn't really work for me. And this is just tough to play defense with, guys. Plain and simple, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we run it with it. Oh, all the way. That was way too easy. I don't know how like I don't know how old some of you guys are, but uh, there was a while there, like in early 2K games, where it was the most basically online play was like who could cheese the hardest. And people would do plays where they would have their uh, center just sit there and get the rebound. And they would have all four other players, or at least one player, back on the other side of the court cherry picking. And that was before you could actually do... Oh, my God. Ah, ah. Yo, hit Melo. There we go. Green line every time, baby. Ooh, that felt good. Uh, that was before you could, like, or where you could, like, whip the ball and it would not go out of bounds. So, that was just so frustrating. That was more like Xbox 360 era. A little bit of PlayStation 2 era. But, damn, it was a grind playing those games. Is it bad that I, I'm actually enjoying this gameplay a bit more than NBA 2K19? Because um, there definitely is, like, animation things I hear that are kind of screwy. But for the most part, all the way, all the way. Come on, Tolliver. What was that? I tried to lead past the damn through an oop. Wow. But no, I I, I feel like, whoa, look, look, I'm going to grab that rebound. Like, he's damn Yao Ming. Okay. Goran Dragic for three. Knock it down. Oh, that's so, f I love it, man. 2K15, underrated game. Very underrated. But no, uh, I am going to end the gameplay right here. We clearly won the game, so let's get back to the simulation. Get that bitch ass. Eh, get him. Kobe. Okay, so this is the awards menu. We got uh, Kevin Durant before he was a snake and actually respected by people. Uh, getting MVP. Uh, Jabari Parker, rookie of the year. Okay, we got... Re oh, god damn it. <sighs> and this is where the Pistons decided to give him a chance. After he got some, a little, little six-man of the year award. Uh, Anthony Davis, defensive player. Damian Lillard, still killing it as most improved. Logan Schmidt, coach of the year. All right, uh, so all NBA first. Still looking about the same. Like, well, for the most part, there, there's there's a little uh, anomaly right here. We got all NBA second with Andre Drummond. Melo making that. Derrick Rose of the Chicago Bulls, 88 overall. I think this is after a few of his injuries. Uh, Stephen Curry has an 89 overall. Blake Griffin, 90 overall. Kevin Love, Demarcus, Chris Paul. On the Clippers, of course. And then all rookie teams. Dante Exum, okay. Say, uh, Andrew Wiggins and Joel Embiid's rookie season. Damn, Joel looking young as hell in that picture, man. Julius. Nick Stowski's all rookie second team. Come on, man. He always is rating. 74. Okay. Let's get out of this. Uh, let's go to the... I guess we're going to go to the calendar again. We have to keep on going back to that. So, we're not going to do too much in the playoffs. I guess I will go to the uh, player stats. I want to see what that all looks, looks like for us, too. So Melo 24, 9, and 3. Look like Melo numbers. Dragic was a big time pickup, 18 and 6. Okay. We got Anthony Tolver at 8 points, killing it. Very nice. Okay, let's uh go back to the okay, back to the calendar. So I, I'm I assume this is probably the same exact way. Yes. Simulate. You go like game by game? Yeah, you can. It's the same damn thing, guys. Just a different look to it. Okay, so simulate current round. See how this goes. We got the Atlanta Hawks in the first round. We got Damn, that was a quick ass simulation. Oh my god. Yo, who was on the Hawks? Was this the year that like four of their stars made to the all-star team? I'm pretty sure Al Horford, Paul Mills, Jeff Teague, and Corver all made it. Maybe I don't think yeah, I don't think Damari Carroll made it. He might have been the odd man out. Or something like that. Okay, next up, LeBron in the yo, was this actually yeah, this was LeBron in the Cavaliers. Simulate current round here. I think this was the first year he came back, right? Yeah, this is the year this is the year he came back from the Miami Heat. Uh, next up, we got the Pacers, who I believe have Paul George and, yeah, Stucky. Um, no, no, what's his name? Uh, Lance Stevenson, that's right, he's on the Charlotte Hornets. So, simulate current round here. And we're in the finals after the first season. Simulate uh, current, I guess, simulate playoffs. And Thunder still beat us, guys. We got uh, probably bitch-ass Durant getting MVP. He's not bitch-ass Durant yet, but, so, yeah, got Reggie Jenkins dropping 17 points. Steven Adams on the team, Serge Ibaka. Mitch McGarry, you guys remember Mitch McGarry? He was from Michigan. Uh, was supposed to be a pretty damn solid player. Yo, what is this passive-aggressive shit I'm seeing here, man? Congrats on completing my league. Try to, again to see if you can do better. Is it just one season? Is it just one season? Is that all we get? We don't get to... 
Oh my god! There's no fucking off season! Well, that's so stupid! No wonder nobody did rebuilds! That that is Wow! Did I did I like just like pick season? Oh, oh okay. So the default was season mode. You gotta go to franchise. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do a little jump cut to the end of a season so we can actually try out an off-season. That was that was the default mode, was just regular season mode. Okay, so I did a new simulation. Uh, this time, my team only went 44 and 38 for whatever reason. I still have Goran Dragic on there. So, uh, we are now in the offseason. Um, kind of a not-so-great thing about this is that I was not able to update the uh, the actual like draft picks with the actual 2015 NBA draft class or whatever it is uh, because 2K showed their bitch-ass servers. So, I don't know why they do that. Like, why not just like put the servers on like some sort of like secondary, you know, thing out there so people can still enjoy these games that we bought at you know the time of purchase and stuff like that so i think that's kind of stupid um so we have draft lottery we have staff signing i can worry about that uh team player options so it looks like the new york knicks uh scouting has expired okay so, so I, I assume i can't just like okay it does it all by itself so we got tim hardaway accepted his shane larkin i don't care too much about him uh bitch has goran drogs decide to decline his player option so he's trying to get a payday out there all right, so these are all free agents. We got LeBron James going on the market. Ooh. We can bring New York here, guys. Uh, qualifying offers. Okay, I, I definitely like the layout of NBA 2K19 better than I like this. It just looks kind of sloppy across the board right here. Uh, my free agents. So we got one testing free uh, free agency. Expired. I know we got Melo back, too, though. Or, or Melo's got a four-year deal, so we got him to build around. Draft Combine. I assume it's probably also the same. Yeah, just... See, I want to use the actual rookies. I want to use real rookies, not these generic dudes. Okay, pre-draft workouts, NBA draft. Let's see what this screen's looking like. Another, another, another uh, load in the screen. See, that's the nice thing about 2K19 uh, is that like, everything's so, like, fluent. And it's like you don't got to wait for stuff. Like, this is just, just got to wait. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. Yo, let me get some time going here if I can. To the NBA. Their dedication and hard work have paid off. And this, this is pretty cool. Is I like this. And they're promising young careers. It is also a time of optimism and hope for our fans as their beloved teams look for that final piece of the puzzle. The selections that are made tonight will be viewed by millions of NBA fans. Billions? The they say billions? Is it billions? 200 countries. Everyone is. Right, I, 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 I want to get to the draft, the though, uh, Silver. In the NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select. Rob Armstrong. Rob Armstrong, the first pick. Oh, University. do I gotta wait through all this? Oh hell no! Man. Oh, hey, there we go. We can finish the draft for you guys. There's no way I'm gonna wait through all this. No way. Okay, okay. Would you like to? Can I? I can't jump cut. Oh my god, that is. Oh, that is horrible. Yeah, we're gonna. And, and the thing is, you cannot even simulate to your next pick. You simply gotta like wait. And then eventually he's gonna get to my pick. Look at what damn Phoenix Suns got three first round pick, three uh, top ten picks. I only got a first rounder, man. Yo, this is lame as hell, bro. Okay, so I not actually even have like a draft pick here. Um, that was, yeah, that was a bad sign up or, or a bad way of doing it. Rookie signing, uh, free agency. Here we go. This is what it's all about. What's the negotiation like here? Is it just gonna be easy to get every single player? Or apparently I don't. There's there's nobody on the free agent market. Wait, I got a fan. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so we got some players up in here available. Um, we got Clay Thompson, 84 overall, back in 2K15. That is not a great image of Clay. Look how look how chunky he looks. He looks exactly like that dude that did that uh, does the impersonation of Clay Thompson. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that video before. Uh, go look it up. Looks exactly like him. All right, well, I guess we're gonna bring Kevin Love to the team. So I like the interest bar. I think that's in 2K19. I don't know. I never pay attention to it. Um, this is the most I can offer him. Okay, we're gonna get okay. Team option actually makes it go down. Player option makes it stay the same. No trade clause makes him happier. So we'll go with that. Would you like to offer to come up? Yes, I would. Uh, who else? Roger on Rondo, maybe 89 overall. I'll take him. Take him on the team. And we got Al Jefferson. I definitely want to get Clay Thompson if possible. We know what he becomes. All right, so let's advance this. See if anybody actually signs. So we got Clay and Rondo. Can I get both? I don't know if it's gonna tell me or not. Still waiting on Kevin Love. And that's going to take me over. Okay, so uh, so there's no way to go back and decline the offers you already accepted. So that's kind of lame. But it's all right, man. What else can we get? 
Uh, how much you know, How much you want now? <laughs> how much you want now, Kay? Come on. Come on, Kevin. And there's no way to just, like, going down quickly. Okay, so I can't get him. What about Carlos Boozer, I guess? Okay, he's not too happy about that offer. So there's a lot of bitch-ass players left here. Uh, none that I'm too happy with. Yeah, definitely can't get Al Jefferson. Uh, Yo, and it's Cantor back on the Knicks. Yeah, not going to roll with that. Um, okay, so I'm going to say screw that. And then I'm going to probably make some sort of trade. Player progression. So this should pretty much be the same. Let's see what players actually went up. I mean, Rondo, Clay Thompson, Melo, that's not a bad little core. I think we still have Amari Sotomayor also. Now we got to wait through. We got to wait again through uh, each day to go through, which I think also is on 2K19. I just usually jump cut that part, but I'm trying to give you guys the full effect. So Rondo goes down a rating. We got Clay up. I still got Tim Hardaway now four points higher. All right. Uh, training camps. Probably about the same. Let's uh, advance to the next season. Okay, so pretty uh, pretty uh, bare bones, uh, I guess, off season. Not too much going on. I did like the look of the draft. I just did not like how you actually had to like sit there and through every damn pick. And yeah, there's no there's no new draft class you can use. So that's pretty lame. Um, can I switch player positions? Because that would be a, kind of a big thing if I could do that. And I'm wondering if you switch positions, if ratings are going to go down. Oh, my God, Melo. You're not looking healthy, dude. <laughs> you're not looking good. Uh, let's go to, I guess, Vitals. Probably be under that. Yeah, I want to make him a power forward. Secondary, small forward. I have no idea if that's going to affect his rating, though. That's the thing. Um, yo, can I take the headband off, too? <laughs> Is it going to let me do a... Uh, Where's, yeah, no, I want, I want headbandless Melo. The NBA needs that in their life. Uh, yeah, de cannot take off a headband as far as I can see. Come on, 2K, that's lame as hell, man. All right, so let's complete that. So he does go down three rating points. It doesn't. There's no quick way to change that though. But that's all. It's all good. All right, so our lineup: Rondo, Clay Thompson as shooting guard. I definitely want to put Tim Hardaway as small forward. Then we got damn Ed Garner. That's our only center. We only have Ed Gardner. Oh, my God. Why did the game not give me better players? Usually in 2K, when you, like, simulate through SimCast, it's going to give you, like, the best available free agents as possible. I'm getting damn Perry Hale, Roy Rawlin, looks like a beast, uh, Homer Farley, I think it's due from The Simpsons, uh, and then Warren Wilkins. And Shav uh, This is actually a real guy. Shav no, no, it's not. Shavleek Randolph. Oh, my God. The team is going to be trash, guys. Um, all right. I guess I got to make some last-second trades. Let's go to... Trade finder. We gotta get some sort of center. I'm, I'm gonna trade Ed Gardner real quick so he has no business being in my lineup. Probably toss in uh, Jose Calderon, try to get somebody for that. I'm even gonna toss in a first round pick, man. Can I do two? I can only do one. Okay. I need a, I need a center. Henry Sims, you are not the answer to, the, to my issues out here, man. Paul Gasol, list is a power four. I'll run him at center if needed. Tyler Zeller, Evan Turner. Ugh. Not, not great choices. Ennis Cantor, might be. Have to bring back on the squad. Come on, 2K. Give me something better than this, man. Javel, ooh, Javel McGee, 76 overall. George Hill. Brandon Jennings, definitely don't need him as of right now. Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, if I get Eric Bledsoe, let, let, let me try this. I'm going to get Eric Bledsoe, and I'm going to try to finesse my way into an even better pick. And we also get P.J. Tucker for the bench. So, yeah, definitely got to do a little finessing here to really upgrade our team. But so we got to do in these games sometime here, man. So next up we got, where's he at? Eric Bledsoe. I'm going to toss in both my picks, and just the franchise is just going to be in shambles for the rest of forever. I'm um, still looking at Paul Gasol, but he was 35 at this point. I guess it was only a few years ago. You know, Andrew Bynum. I forgot about Bynum. Okay. Oh, man. Not really any great offers. Nick Young, 80 overall? Damn, dude. We got Vucevic still on the Magic as an 81 overall. He is tw For a second, I thought Vucevic was only 25 right now. Is it, did he time travel? But no, he is uh, literally... That's just his age as of right now. But uh, you know, Isaiah Thomas on the on the Suns, okay? Not anything great. I think I'm going to go with, uh, where's he at? I think I'm going to go with Vucevic, I guess. We also get Brandon Bass. I mean, we'll provide something for the bench at least. So we'll go with this and go back to our coaching game plan. So P.J. Tucker, I actually think I am going to use Tim Hardaway off the bench because P.J. Tucker I actually do like a lot. Uh, we got this for our bench here. Do I have a backup point guard? I do not. Tim Hardaway, you're going to be playing some minutes as backup point guard. We're going to go with a very, very tight uh, eight-man rotation. It's, it's it's all we can do. Give Rondo some minutes. A lot of minutes. Actually playing 40 minutes to be exact. Melo at about 40. P.J. Tucker right there. Clay Thompson right there. Uh, let me go to free agency real quick here. Maybe I can pick up some sort of just minimum contract player. And I don't, I don't know if I want to. Yo, ooh, ooh, give me Jimmer. Give me Jimmer. Give me Jimmer. I can't afford Jimmer. Come on, Jimmer. 
Come on, man. You're, you're just sitting on the bench. You're not even doing that. You're not even doing that. And you can't even, like, see, like, minimum contracts. Yo, let me get Amari Stoudemire back on the squad. If he'll have me. It's not it's not looking like, okay, we can't afford anybody, guys. Um, this is going to be our final team of the year. It's not too bad. Shows potential. Let's go ahead, simulate this uh, final season, I guess, and see how good this New York Knicks team can really do. So 52 and 29. Another thing I did notice, the simulation in this game is so much quicker. Like, literally, man, I remember, like, 2K18, 2K19, the time it took me to make a video... Uh, was almost like triple just because the simulation can be so slow at times. But one more game against the Pistons. Simulate through date right here. And, you know, different 2K, still, still same, crispy saying, simulate through date, all that stuff. One more game left on the season. You guys know the drill by now. Um, but we got to wait for a loading screen this time. It's not great. Come on, man. We do I, do, I just simulate through date. It's not working, man. Oh, my God. Yo, how do I do this? Cal not oh I guess we're not seeing awards okay well thank you for that one I, I suppose can I just go over here and look at it season awards no I want NBA records all right well we'll, we'll just say uh Jimmer got MVP he, he went to a team on the minimum contract one you know one dollar for a season and ended up uh dropping a billion points we'll just say that we're not gonna look at league leaders actually we are I am curious Durant uh Harden Westbrook so hard to believe all these guys could have been on one team or they were on one team at one point Melo Fifth leading score in the NBA at this point. Uh, LeBron James at 25. You know, I do kind of want to do a video of like simulating NBA 2K15 all the way to NBA 2K19 and kind of seeing like what the teams are looking like. The only bad thing is that I could not use actual rookies. So if you guys do want to see that video, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, just because it would be kind of cool to see some of these guys like Melo. Like, would Melo, based off 2K15, fall off by 2K19, if that makes sense? Uh, but player stats, we know Melo's stat line looking great out there. Clay Thompson had 19 points, 13 for Tim Hardaway, 12, 7, and 13 assists for Rajon Rondo. Another thing I want to see, lane leaders and assists. These days, you see like one guy maybe averaging 10 assists per game, um, and I guess it wasn't that much different back then. Okay, okay, I rest my case. Uh, let's go to the calendar, and we got first round against Derrick Rose in the Chicago Bulls. So simulate current round here to see how this goes for us. Let's win this bitch-ass championship here. Uh, close out, damn, look at this. We got a... Damn, eight-man rotation going here. Everybody's probably tired as hell. Derrick Rose, 32 points. Uh, Dougie McNuggets, 15 points, 13 for Taj. All right, Indiana Pacers. Simulate this, see how it goes. And that was easy. It goes by so quick. We got 25 for Klay Thompson. How's this? Yo, Warriors only got the eight seed. What's their team looking like? Stephen Curry, Harrison Barnes, uh, David Lee. Where's, where's Draymond Green at? Where's Draymond Green? Oh, wait, wait, no, it's, oh, there he is. Yeah, what's his rating? 82 overall? Okay, I was going to say that. This is uh, way after he was drafted. Next up, we have the Bucks. I don't think this is, I don't think Giannis was good at this point. Three points. Uh, 81 overall, so not bad, I guess, but still not as good, not nearly as dominant as he was now. Okay, so simulate current round here. Beat them. We do have the Clippers with uh, Blake Griffin and Chris Paul here in the NBA Finals. Simulate round and... I don't want by very quickly, but we did win the championship. Four games to one. Uh, how do I see, like, finals MVP? Is it going to show me that? Or is that just, like, is that, like, new to 2K now? Who's finals MVP? Come on, 2K. All right, guys. Apparently, it's not going to show a finals MVP. That's all right. We all know it was Carmelo Anthony. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was something different here on the channel, but... It's just kind of fun to take a trip down memory lane and really doing a 2K rebuild before, you know, this, at this time, Crispy was still making videos on the daily. Just the concept of the rebuild was not even a thing to him yet. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.